Hi, my name is Lauren and today I'm going to explain to you background layer inside the Add Online Designer. So you'll see I have a template open here on my page. To access the background layer or the bottom most layer, click the background layer button here located on the left under the actions button. You'll see that all of my elements on top of my page disappear because I am now on the bottom layer or the background layer, which is normally locked in your regular design view. From here, if needed, I can delete my background or edit the placement of the background image. To add things to the background layer, make sure you go back to the regular design view, click on the element you wish to add to the background, right click, add to background. The benefits of adding things to the background allow you to lock those elements in place so when you're designing on your page, you don't constantly click and move them around. So now that I've added my elements to the background layer, let's go back to background layer. You'll see now these design elements are in the background layer and this is where they will live and you can now edit and delete them or send them back to the foreground layer. To send them back to the foreground, just click right click, remove from background. Now if I go back to my regular design view, you'll see they are now editable again and I can come in here and edit them if needed. But my other elements that I left in the background are not able to be clicked on or edited. Keep in mind, you do not need to go into the background layer to change out your background. All you need to do is go to backgrounds, Find a background that you like, click on that background, and click to insert it, and it will automatically swap out your background. Check out for more help videos, and thanks for watching!